This hike is no joke. What's up, P-Nation? I'm Liam. And I'm Zach. And today we're hiking Tiger Leaping Gorge. It's only supposed to be 10 to 12 miles, so it's not gonna be that crazy. However, we're doing it in two days. There are three different parts. Mm -hmm. The first part is... Super hard, we hear. <laughs> and the second part is called 28 Switchbacks. Is that what it's called? And that sounds pretty hard as well. <laughs> and then we get to our first <laughs> destination, which is Halfway House. So the first day is actually the biggest day. And then the second day, we get to go all the way down to the water in the gorge and just relax, basically. I we're really excited <laughs> and that's where we started right down there okay so we got off the bus and we are following this guy who has an awesome GPS he also has WeChat which kind of has a map on its own and it's just really nice <laughs> because we heard we were gonna get lost like we definitely would have taken two rights already but we took two lefts and now we're on the right path because if we would have taken the rights it would have taken another three miles so we're really lucky to have him All right, following our trusted guide, instead of going on the road, hiking up the rice terraces. So this is the spot on the mountain. And she has a horse. I don't know if you can tell, but this tree is like yellow. It's like fall time in the Himalayas, but it's April. Entering into the village. The first leg is really, really difficult, and I think that's what we just did. We are, I am, really exhausted. Zach is fine, but the view already is becoming amazing. So we started here, we just got here, we have to go here. <laughs> what is interesting is that there's a lot of people like Europeans here that we haven't yeah. seen anywhere in China except for on this trail. Right. So it's very different than what we expected. A lot of people speaking English and they have water. We thought we didn't have a water purifier, but we're gonna be yeah, fine. We're fine. This hike is no joke. We are so far up here. I don't think my chest has burned this badly since high school field hockey. Ah. So we made it past the first part. Mm -hmm. We made it past 28 bends. I almost had a heart attack. And I don't take that lightly. It's so difficult. And now we're heading down. <gasps> Hello. Okay, I really want to stop for lunch. However, we got two more hours and we we're must. gonna make it. We have to keep going. Have to go to Halfway House. As you can tell by the wind, we have almost made it to Halfway House. I hope they have a room left. I don't know because there's like not a lot of pre-booking that goes on here. Uh -uh. So we're about to see. We have made it. Here's the room, quaint. They only had twin beds left, which was fine. We can manage. 
but it's nice. And it has its own bathroom. She's got a big bathroom, whoa. Showered and fresh, we are ready for some dinner because we're about to eat so many calories. Okay, I got my shoes on, double socks and slippers size eight. And this is where we're having our dinner. This is just so ridiculous and beautiful. This cannot be real. Okay, everybody, we got fried rice with veggies, potatoes with tomato, fried noodles with egg, and chicken soup. So that's it for today. We're really full. We're really, really tired. tired. So tired. I think my body shook. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> We're about to go to bed now, so we will see you in the morning. So we just finished breakfast. We are still pretty tired, but we have to get a move on because we have to catch a 3.30 bus from Tina's guest house back to Ligier where all of our stuff is and where we're staying the night. We just left halfway house and now we're on our way to Tina's. It's supposed to take two hours. Yes. Everything here is measured in time, not how far it is in kilometers or miles. So it's, it's a new, new thing for us. So we don't really know exactly how long it'll take us to get there or how far it is. <laughs> So we are walking on the road that is beside the cliff that has the most amazing view. guest house and then we're gonna go down to the water okay we just got to Tina's guest house however we're leaving because we put our stuff down and we're going to the gorge now yeah we're going down to the gorge and she said we didn't have enough time to like walk all the way down mm -hmm. and do the whole trekking thing so she suggested we go down to this ladder which we've heard of before I think it's called the sky ladder yeah or she's calling it middle ladder I'm not really sure hmm. we don't really know what's going on <laughs> Okay, we just paid the lady off. I know you guys are like, what are you doing with this? Um, my ears are burned and my <laughs> neck is super burned. So the sun was not earlier, but it is now. So I'm gonna look like a tribal leader for the next two hours. Mm -hmm. Whew, so we're halfway and that's where we're going. We didn't really consider how far we'd have to go down <laughs> to reach the gorge. So like going up all those steps. It's very reminiscent of when we hiked the Grand Canyon in one day. You, you go down first and you're all inspired by the view and then you're like, okay, we've got to walk up now and it's, mm -hmm. it's a different story. We've already done one of these. That's one more we're hiking down. First ladder. As you can see, this is the old one, which would have been very interesting. And that's the new one, which is still kind of steep, but nothing compared to the old one. Whew, we're getting closer. Now we found the real sky ladder. The other one was a fake. We just made up the sky ladder. How was it? Very scary. Very scary. I just can't believe that the steps are like eight inches apart. So it doesn't sound like that much, but it is. There's 54 steps. It's just straight up. It's actually harder because it's full body workout because you're holding on to it as, as you're going up. Wow. 
that feeling that you get when you rode the mountain faster than anyone else. Made it with time to spare. Woo! So we just made it up. I cannot believe Leah. She is a superhuman. She did. Turn it on when we need to. Although I thought we were going to crash and burn. We got up to the top and she was like, all of a sudden we found these people from Denmark and she was talking nonstop. Her adrenaline is still running crazy. So. I just needed to chat, okay? I can't believe we made it up alive. They were from Denmark. We were just in Denmark. We had to talk. But yeah, anyway, so we're back at the top. We're done hiking. We have finished our trek at this beautiful place. Oh. And Tiger Leaping Gorge, it's been amazing. It's amazing, you should do it. Just laying in the road. <laughs> <laughs>